All right, guys, let me show you how to get those three masks in the Division Global Event Strike. As you know, it's the third global event and there are three masks you can get. I get two of them and I have a method to get the third one, but it will take a little while until I get the third one. In this video, I'm going to show you the gameplay for uh, both of the masks I get and also a uh, gameplay and the way how to get the third one, which is called the jungle. Okay, this is the rider mask. Uh, only thing you need to have for this one is good tactician build and you can get it by playing solo. Now we are coming to the second one, which is called the classic. It's awesome looking mask. For this one, you will have to quick matchmake. You can use any build you want, but the best thing to go with is also tactician build. So let's go quickly through the commendations. The first one is a bomb proof, complete the strike activity without taking any explosion damage. Complete strike activity with the specified conditions, which is world tier five, hard difficulty or above, preemptive or tactical strike. You really don't need to go on a challenge mode with this one, you can finish it in the heart and it's going to be a lot more easier. The second one is the best frenemies, complete a strike mission without taking explosion damage from an ally. In this one you will have to stay away from your allies, basically you can sit on the end of the mission you can just let the other do the mission for you. For both of those masks I was playing in the Lexington and the uh, important thing in this one you really don't wanna be catched in the explosion caused on your ally. The third one is a strike boss killer. Kill 10 Riker bosses during strike you will get the jungle mask. As you can see there are stages here. For the first stage you will need to get only 10 Riker bosses but after the first stage I was counting I think you will need to kill like 200 Riker bosses which is a lot. Don't worry guys I will show you the method I was using. I managed to get around 50 bosses so far. There are two bosses in the open world. The Riot and the Bullet King but uh, in the Lexington you can do this mask a little bit quicker. Uh, after the two gameplays for the first two masks I show you, I will also show you the gameplay how I was grinding for this mask. It's daunting, it's hard, you will have to repeat over and over again, but in the six days I think you will have enough time to get this one if you want it so bad. So that's it guys, uh, let's go to the gameplay. I will also uh, make a small comments during gameplay to make you get this mask even easier. And be sure to drop a like, comment or subscribe if you find this video useful. Stay well guys and I will see you in my next video. As I said earlier in this gameplay you will see that I was avoiding any close contact with the enemy targets with the NPCs basically I was just throwing seekers and uh, running away from the enemies it's not particularly difficult only you need to know what you're doing take your best tactician build equip your mods with the seeker mind damage and you should be fine uh, I'm not going to talk about this mission anymore so just enjoying the gameplay I will join you in the second gameplay which is going to be after this one. Also I will show you the method for the third match so be sure to check the video till the end. I will also leave the timestamps below the video in the comment section so you can easily navigate through all of three gameplays. If you don't have a tactician build or you don't know how to build one uh, I will leave the link in the top right screen of this video in YouTube cards with my tactician build. Warning. Additional hostiles in ban.
lifesaver. I was sure they were gonna kill me just like the others. Agent, the hostage is being held on the roof. You need to clear it out. the rescue. Negative, Ramos. We've got this. Find a secure position and hunker down. And that's in order, Sergeant. Warning. Incoming hostiles detected. Here. I just heard about Ramos. Glad we reached him in time. Thanks for that. My people are getting into position to breach the hall. Agent, you're going to want to unlock the maintenance access. The building blueprints show a security control room down in the basement. Perfect shot. Now entering the safe area. safe area.
So far, so good. My strike squads are moving in. They'll breach the main hall on your signal. Hostiles detected. I'm impressed, Agent. Tricky assignment, but you did what had to be done. Yeah, you broke your spine, kid. With the leader dead, the rest yes. are gonna scatter. I don't think we're quite done with them yet, but at least now we can get these JTF folks back on the job. Okay, guys, for the second mask, uh, you will need to matchmake because the requirements are that you play, uh, play in the group. So we'll have to choose a hard level and the tactical strike. This one is even more easy to obtain. Uh, there are two ways to do that. First one is you equip your tactician build and lead the mission. You do the job. The second method is you can really stay behind uh, and just wait the other agent finish the mission the important thing is you don't want to be catching the explosion of your allies of your friends in the gameplay you can do this randomly if you have a group you can do it in a group 
if you play with the random guys with the quick matchmake uh, be sure to tell them that you are going for a mask uh, you can easily communicate over your mic or if you don't have mic you can leave the messages in the chat uh, just notice the friends uh, and uh, allies that you are going for a mask and what you want to tell them is to stay separate don't be close one to each other to avoid any chance to get uh, that explosion on you from your ally that's it after this one i'm going to show you a method for a third mask and enjoying the gameplay Get them out first, but don't jeopardize is joining your team. Active Echo Beacon detected. Agent, the hostage is being held on the roof. You need to clear it out.
rescue. Negative, Ramos. We've got this. Find a secure position and hunker down. And that's in order, Sergeant. Warning. Incoming hostiles detected. Loud here. I just heard about Ramos, Captain. Glad we reached him in time. Thank you, sir. My people are getting into position to breach the hall. Agent, you're gonna wanna unlock the maintenance access. The building blueprints show a security control room down in the basement. So far, so good. My strike squads are moving in. They'll breach the main hall on your signal.
hostiles detected. Okay, the method for a jungle mask, the third mask in the global event strike. Uh, first thing you want to do is equip yourself with the high DPS build, the highest you can get. You can use 6 piece striker, you can use a high end build with skull MC gloves. Any DPS build you have will do. You can do this on challenge mode, on hard mode. I truly believe that you can do it even in the tier 1 or 2 uh, wherever the hard mode is possible. Uh, why I'm saying this? I was doing this on the challenge mode, then I switch on the normal, even on the normal mode you can do this mission. The point is the first time you really wanna come to the Larea Barre you wanna kill the Larea Barre and after that you just let the NPCs finish you after that you will spawn again in the last checkpoint and you will rush and do the Larea Barre again again and again basically you have to reach the checkpoint last checkpoint and let the NPCs kill you every time first time is going to be a little bit harder if you have a recovery link you can uh, switch your signature skill and take the one without reviving it could help uh, basically you just let it kill you and you rush Larea Barre again uh, now you will see how I was doing this on the challenge mode as I said you can do this in the normal mode uh, because the boss is boss uh, commendation said that you need to do like 200 Riker bosses. I said earlier in a video there are two in the open world that I know, maybe there is a couple of more, but the Bullet King and the Riot are Riker bosses, but they spawn after four hours. This way you can just do Larea Barre again, again, and again. Just be sure to have a good DPS build and finish her before they finish you. So that's it guys, uh, really if you have any better method, please leave it in the comment section to help me and other players who are watching the video and really want that jungle mask. That's it guys, I'm going to leave you till the end. Uh, the method is working fine, I was checking out the number of the bosses I did, Riker bosses, in the commendations, but uh, that's it drop a like as i said comment subscribe love you all guys uh, enjoying the gameplay it's not going to be a long one after this and i'll see you in my next video